everyone, my name is Vuvu and this is Vuvu Vedo Reads. If you are new on this platform, please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it to stay abreast of the things that occur onto this platform, what I post, when I post, etc, etc. And if you are not new, thank you so very much for tuning in once more and today I'm just coming to you with a confession. So we all know Harry Potter. Harry Potter was first published in the year 1997. Dude, I don't even know that. 1997. Yours truly, yours, this person, truly, is a diehard Harry Potter fan. However... I've never completed the series. I've read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I've read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I have read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I am yet to read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, yet to read. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, yet to read. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, and yet to read. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have no words, guys. I don't know how to tell you that I have no excuse. I'm always trying to read this series and when I say I've read these four books, I've probably read each of them four times because every time I try to start up the series, I'm like, Fufu, just don't pick up where you left off because where you left off, in this case, where I left off was like three years ago. So don't pick up where you left off because often where you've left off is quite some years ago and do you actually honestly want to say you remember every single thing that happened so naturally me being me I start right at the start of the freaking series only to end here again I don't know guys I don't know what it is I really don't know what it is it's always the same book always the same zeal to start with yes 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 why anyway so this is my 2019 challenge I have challenged myself to finish the Harry Potter series so that when I do tell people just how much I love it because you would be amazed how much of my life these four books have impacted like I'm sad to say I don't know what goes on here because I do stay away from spoilers and you ask me how hard I've had to try to stay away from spoilers for something published in 2003 that's a whole 16 years ago hmm? but I have I have no idea what happens in the order of the phoenix I have no idea what happens in the half blood prince no idea what happens in the deathly hollows then there is Harry Potter and the Christ child i don't know what goes on but not because i don't want to i couldn't look <laughs> like i couldn't look it up but that would definitely ensure that i never finish the series so in 2019 i plan to read all eight of these books and i don't know how i'm gonna cross the stumbling block of the goblet of fire but honey, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. There is zero excuse. Because you know what? There are other series that I've done similar things with. I will not call them out now. But next year, if I need to read those series, I have to finish this one first. This is top of my list. This is my only challenge for the year. And I've just dropped the Goblet of Fire. So I just thought I'd bring you guys this confession and just speak into existence this challenge and hopefully 
you guys will come along on this journey with me otherwise that's all i've got for you guys for today i trust you enjoyed it and until next time thank you very very much for watching and if you have finished the harry potter series without any spoilers just tell me what your rating is down below of the series as a whole and thank you once again for watching i love you very very much bye now